hi guys welcome back to my channel so i am back with another fpna video as some of you have responded in comments and in instagram that you liked my videos and thank you so much for watching and it's keep me motivating to prepare more videos on on this concept so as some of you has requested to uh, make some more questions on variance analysis so i have done some uh, some work on it and i have prepared some questions that i am going to present in upcoming video so it's like the same that i have made in video earlier wherein some options are available with the questions so what you have to do is you have to just pick the correct answer and write it down on the paper or somewhere and you can ping me on instagram uh, the instagram id will be there in the description of this video so you can ping me there with your answers and with your explanations so i'll respond you back with the correct answers so please uh, so i'm not taking much time i'm just going to start this video and uh, with the question i am explaining about the concept so please do uh, listen me not not just uh, read down the question and uh, put your answer just uh, listen me uh, carefully before you give any answer so guys before i start this video uh, just a request please subscribe this channel and uh, like the videos and comments if you have any doubts or any query and uh, i'm not as you know i'm not charging anything and but keep on doing hard work just to give you some background about fpna and how the scenario based question works in fpna interviews so please in return i ju am just expecting that you people are subscribing my channel so i'm starting with the first question so first question says ad hoc work revenue received of dollar 5000 in may 23 period though it was forecasted in june 23 period so that means uh, we were expecting some revenue to be earned in june period and that we have forecasted in june only but as the work have been completed and all the consideration has been performed so we got the revenue in may only that is of dollar 5000 so reasons of variance between actuals and forecast will be considered as first a dog project revenue second error in forecasting third timing difference fourth all of the above question two one ad hoc project revenue received after delivering work agreed of dollar ten thousand in august but it was not forecasted in any monthly forecast or budget so there was some uh, revenue expected to get from project revenue that is of dollar ten thousand and we earned that revenue received that revenue as well but it was not forecasted in any monthly budget or forecast so reasons of variance of ad hoc project revenue will be considered as first ad hoc project revenue second error in forecasting third timing difference fourth seasonal variance question three extra overtime charges paid to employees to meet client extra work requirements dollar 2500 though it was forecasted for the same period at dollar 1000 so we forecasted as dollar 1000 for the month for our time charges but the actual charges that we paid is of dollar 2500 so reason of extra charges that is 1500 will be considered as first one of cost second volume third error in forecast fourth pricing error question four rewards paid out by client to employees of dollar three thousand in june 23 period but not expected and forecasted in forecast and budget so there are some rewards that client has directly paid to our employees of dollar three thousand and it was not expected and not forecasted in any budget or forecast so reasons of variance will be considered as first seasonal variance second volume third error in forecasting fourth one of charge question fifth delay in filling backup of resigned 10 fts but same was forecasted in budget as hired so please uh, listen this question carefully we there are 10 fts that has been resigned and we are expecting that these 10 fts will be hired in a particular month and we have forecasted the same but in actuals that 10 FTs has not been hired. So reasons of delayed in hiring 10 FTs will be considered as first forecasting error, second volume, third one of variance, fourth contractual change. Uh, last but not the least question number six for working on a project FTs forecasted or budgeted are 10 but due to some automation actually eight FTs are working and performing all activities that 
ten FTs were performing earlier. So the all the activities that ten FTs were performing earlier, so some automation has taken place. They have done some automations, and now only eight FTs can perform all the work alone. So reasons of variance of two FTs will be considered as first volume, second efficiency, third timing difference, fourth contract changes. Hope you understand all the questions. So, uh, if you have any doubt in a particular question, so you can just rewind the video and watch again, and all options are available as answer. So, if you want to get some insight and some more knowledge to give correct answer, you can watch all other videos that I have made on the same channel. I'll provide the link in the description of these videos, or you can just click on the playlist that will be available at the end of uh, this particular video. so you can watch all these video for getting some more knowledge on fp and a and uh, some people are saying why i am not some people are saying why i am not sharing the answers at the end of the video or in the comment section or in description the reason being uh, i am doing hard work for recording and making these videos so i am expecting the same from the subscribers and as well that they do some analysis and provide the answers and reasons if i'll give the answer in the description so people will jump direct to the uh, answer part and they will avoid to do any analysis so i'm expecting you people also to do some hard work to do some uh, insight to find out some reasons to get the answer so thank you so much for watching this video uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel and uh, like comment anything if you want if you have any query on this particular video and do watch all other videos if you want to get more insight on it and keep in touch thank you so much